Hello, I'm MVK Extra Cat and welcome back to video. Today I want to check out one of the most innovative games I've seen so far in 2019 because it is a brand new game which just came out. It's called Rover Rage and it's the first online game which allows you to build and create your own robots or rovers from scratch and then fight other people's rovers in real time battles. It's super fun because you get to be creative, they get to be creative and you get to see whose creativity is better which is what creativity is all about, right? There is an objective right way to do things, an objective wrong way but no, it's a really fun game. It's one I want to check out and do some fun things with today in what is admittedly going to be a sponsored video so this is sponsored by the developers link down below for all the disclosures and stuff but as you all do know i'm very picky of which sponsored deals i do do i do very few of them in a year and that's because i only want to really tell you about things which i think you will benefit in some ways which includes this game uh, as you can see i played it a fair bit already and it's one that i really enjoyed so let's talk about why that is with this video so let's start by mentioning the fact that yeah like i said earlier you can build your own robots and when i say that i don't mean like oh yeah well i mean Technically, you can do a bit of customization. No, so you start with this right here. You start with the core of your robot, the you know the the, the base thing which uh, you know you can then turn into if you're playing Battle Royale. But you know the, this is the core of your robot that kind of needs to exist, and then you can build on top of that. So if you want, you can, for instance, uh, what a lot of people do is they build kind of like a spider tank thing. We're like, okay, so we'll build it kind of like a dog, and then you can make yourself a little dog like this. And you know it's kind of cute to have a little animal, but inside the game, right? Like, oh look, it's cute. Yeah, it's not going to destroy humanity. Except, wait a minute. What's that? A laser cannon we're putting on the top. Yep, that's right. We have a laser cannon on our dog. But yeah, you can see how like, oh yeah, it's it's super fun, super cute. It's dogs with laser cannons. Who doesn't love that? But here's the best bit. You can't just build dogs. You can't. Uh, you you can also do a lot of other things. Like for instance, if we want to just remove all of that, we could also just go full like millipede or centipede on this and just go like, okay, we'll go like that. Have like a bunch of legs if we want to. Again, your options are really close to limitless because there's so many uh, different tools and so many ways you can use them. You can put legs on the top if you want to because that's our. Actually, you know, I kind of want to build this and see how this goes. So as you can see, I built a robot that is entirely legs and now you can walk it around. It looks super creepy, but I imagine even if we get knocked down by something or if something bad happens to us, it'd be really easy for us to walk on all sides. So we don't have any weapons right now, but you better believe we can creep out the enemy and that's a thing we can do. But yeah, you can see this is the test drive, by the way. It's how we're going to be testing all the robots we built today. But like I said, it's not just that you can build yourself uh, little dogs of laser cannons or centipedes that have uh, legs for heads and again, there's something really unsettling about this robot, right? Uh, because again, the game allows you to build anything you want, even unsettling robots as you chase around other people. But here's the best bit, you can't just build unsettling robots. We can also use something called the free creation tool. So uh, what you saw before was me using my own resources and my own garage to build stuff. But also if you want to kind of play the game more creatively, you want to goof around with some stuff, you can make anything you want in the free creation tool, which gives you the maximum number of points uh, that you're allowed to build yourself something. So if you want to, you know, like uh, on, on this game, we're known for a you know particular block based game. What's it called again? Our craft, I think. But if you want to, you can play uh, you know this game and you can make anything you want. Do you want to commit copyright infringement and make yourself a giant, I guess this would be like an obsidian block, right? We can totally do that. We can totally make ourselves a giant block and then try and make that a functioning robot. And you better believe that's how this is going to work. So I guess five by five by five by five is our rule. We're going to make it out of these super ultra cubes. So it's going to be super strong. We're going to make a tank robot basically where our little core is hidden right there at the back. And given that most people are going to be focused on every other angle of this cube, you know, if there's a lot of angles, it's hard to know which one's right. I think that's going to be our protective mechanism. So yeah, so as you can see, we've now made ourselves a full, I guess, obsidian or bedrock cube, and it's got some wheels on, so now if we want to, we can drive our little cute robot, I guess it's a big, not cute robot, but we can drive our giant robot around just like this. Isn't this a fun little thing we can totally do? But yeah, uh, so uh, obviously, as well as just making fun structural robots, you can make pretty much any structure you can imagine. You can make any uh, size you want, because the downside to the bigger robot you are is the bigger surface area you are to hit and the downside of being so small is you have less blocks and less defense this again it really is about like agility versus mobility any size will do any size has different benefits and that's the amazing thing about this game it is about uh, again working out which size you want your robot to be which is going to be different when you're playing single player it's going to be different when you're playing battle royale it's going to be different when you're playing in the control game mode which i'll talk about later but yeah for now let's just kind of mention the fact that you can build pretty much anything you want and then you can stick any guns you want on there because you know an ultra cannon that sounds kind of fun right let's throw some ultra cannons on there we can totally do it on all the sides just in case we flip over it's an amazing thing you can do with this game so here's our example of a terrible obsidian cube but as well as making a goofy obsidian cube 
You can also go for an entirely different type of uh, copyright infringement with this kind of creeper mark mod, or not creeper, giant green bush that's actually black, so it's entirely different, with big, uh, you know, extremely powerful legs coming out the side. Again, when you're using the free creation tool, you can use anything that's available from any stage of the game, so you can make your absolute dream monster, even if it has an ultimate hailstorm cannon. Again, this is way better than a normal creeper, right? But you can make your absolute dream of a monster, and you can see how this would actually work, how your rover would work in comparison to what else is, because again, this free, uh, free test mode allows you to do whatever you want. We're facing the wrong way, and well, oh god. So just in case you want to see some more creative examples, or ones that aren't just deliberately ripping off something else, uh, here are some examples that really push the envelope, because my favorite thing in any game is trying to just show how far you can take something, so why not make a giant car which is just super long, as long as you want to make it with a laser guided missile on top. It's basically a missile platform, like you see in real life, you can make one of those in this game if you want to, even when it's this absurdly long. And what about a pyramid that doesn't even have wheels or legs, it literally just sits there with guns attached, you can spend all your points on guns and armor if you want to, and although you can't move around, it's a really cool pyramid. Or what if you just want to make yourself a cute little cat or dog? I mean, is this a cat or is this a dog? It's hard to say when it's got a cannon on the back, but if you want to make yourself a cat, if you want to buy into that story, you can totally do so a uh, bit by making yourself uh, something like this. I think it's super cute, I think it's, uh, I, I mean like, again, when you add a laser cannon, there's a little bit of a cute slash cool element, and I think that's definitely prevalent here. So yeah, this is my cute and maybe cool cat, and uh, here are a few examples of creative things, but let's dive into the multiplayer. And just in case you think that's an exaggeration, let's go to competitive play, let's go to control, because everyone knows Battle Royale, but let me explain a little bit of control to you today, uh, you know, just kind of going a little bit off the rails here, because something I actually really enjoyed about this game, you know, a lot of the time when people do these sorts of sponsored videos, it's like, here's the one talking point, the thing you have to say, and then people do just that, the bare minimum, you know, to get their check, but I want to show you one of the things that I really enjoyed as I was playing through this game, because it is the control game mode, it's 3v3, and it's a really good example of how this sniper tower concept can work. So here is my uh, built my own resources, kind of creeper light, you know, my copyright infringement light, but it's a giant sniper tower. It's got two sniper turrets at the top. Well, they're not turrets, they're guns you can use. You can see how I can hang out over here in a place where only the top half of my body can be seen. And then from here, I can totally pull out my sniper and we can now snipe half the battlefield. You see these guys, they're gonna be dead. They're gonna get destroyed by my snipers. We can zoom in real far, get some real big shots on them. See, I almost killed that guy. In fact, let's finish him off, let's, let's go for this. Boom, just like that. Totally just got an assist, I didn't kill him. But still, you can see my snipers are really actually helping at this distance back here. Oh, wow, God. <laughs> Again, they're, they're really unstable for the creeper. Again, don't add giant snipers to your real life creeper. I mean, I'm saying real life creepers, like that's a thing we all have. But you can see how it's, uh, you know, it's not quite as good as its, uh, you know, namesake. But the fact that we can, it's obviously not quite as effective as its namesake, but you can see how our little robot right here, this ridiculous idea that I just wanted to play out with because I was like, what if we made a tower robot? Actually does have some real benefit. I can sit here and I can really help provide support for my team. They're on the ground doing some useful stuff. I'm up here being a, you know, just a sniper tower. I'm literally a robot that is a tower and this somehow works, right? This is actually a working useful concept because this game allows you to be creative and then to take that creativity competitive. I made a joke about it earlier, like see whose creativity is the best, but that's really what this is. That's the concept of so many of the shows I loved growing up and maybe some of the ones you did too. Uh, and seeing that there's almost a game like using the same kind of mechanics as the Robot Wars, as the all the things that the world is something I really absolutely love. Also, let's do some more sniping. Because the odds of me being taken down are just so low. While our team is dominating the center, I am, you know, provided safety. It's like a sniper in a regular game, except you can decide, do you want to be a scout sniper where you can run around? Or do you want to be a giant tall sniper that peeks out from buildings? Or do you want to be something... Oh. <laughs> or do you want to be something a bit less ridiculous? You can choose how ridiculous or not ridiculous you are in this game, and I love that. And you can also choose, like, you know, even though we've built ourselves really great for this place, so I can run in there anyway if I want to. Like, let's charge in, see how they react to me. Are they going to be able to take me down? I don't reckon they will, because I'm just going to fall over on you. Oh, not not quite on you. We, we fell over again. I'm, I'm sorry. But you can see how, like, I can get close range to them if I want to. It's a really terrible idea, but I totally can snipe them from literally next to them. And because I'm now standing in the zone with my sniper, it looks like we're about to win the game if I can just hang on in here for a little bit longer with my sniper. Oh, and I, I think we literally just won it. My, my sniping probably wasn't the decisive factor, but it was a really useful factor providing support there. I literally just made a robot that was a tower and it was a useful robot. Any single idea you have that is unique and different, because most people go for tanks, but if, you're, if, you, if, you, if you've got creativity, if you can stand out from the bunch, you can victory like I just did right here. Victory.
I mean, also victory out. But, uh, but uh, you know, when it comes to that other block-based game, it's like, oh yeah, it's all about, uh, you know, I I'm all about function over form. And this game has this kind of the same thing. You can make something pretty, you can make something functional, you can make something both, you can make something neither. And the fact that there is a competitive way to measure that, like measure your creativity in objective ways, you know, like I, I've killed a lot of people and I haven't died as many times because I'm just that good at making robots. And this, whoever made this one, I guess it's been destroyed, but like, it's a pretty rough looking robot, right? But yeah, you can see my drill, by the way. It's a close range weapon. Look how fun it is. I just tore a dude apart. Just got a kill. Because even in the, uh, while you're playing around with the uh, unlimited tool, you can do whatever you really want to here. And that's kind of nice in my opinion. But anyway, I've had a great time playing today. I hope all of you do as well. You can check the game out with the link down in the description. Uh, if you're curious, you click that link. It'll lead you to download the game. It's absolutely free to play, and it's an amazing game that you really should be checking out because it is the first game where you can build your own robots and fight other people's robots. I love the concept of fighting creativity, and you can totally do that by checking out the link in the description and downloading this game for free today. Thank you very much to Netties for sponsoring this video, and indeed, a bigger thank you for making a game that was fun to actually play for a sponsorship and yeah thank you very much for watching today's video because i'll see you all next time goodbye yeah.